All right. So if you guys remember what the room looked like from last week. Yes. And you guys have captured one of the hobgoblins. He basically Something surrendered, is. if I remember correctly. But not for lack of trying. <laughs> <laughs> he did drop his weapon. I think when you guys said, you know, to kick the to weapon. Know, I have the picture. Okay. my pencil drawing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, he gave us the correct password. Yes, he did. Yeah. But he didn't tell us why it was wrong, and he didn't tell us what was awaiting us in the next ruse, to the best of his knowledge, which is <coughs> what we, yeah, we I ended it right before anything could be done. Right. Um, okay, so that that is what I'll ask him. I'll ask him... Um, I'll tell him if, if you want to live, you know, we'll give you... I'll give you some gold as well. <laughs> you are a mercenary after all. I'm happy to pay you for your time. Um, I want to know why the password was wrong, and I want to know what's waiting for us between here and as far as you have knowledge. <clears throat> I give him a throat lozenger. Blood. <laughs> so he will speak in common, because that will be annoying of me if I speak in goblin. Because <laughs> <laughs> the password was wrong because you said it wrong. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> the wife falls in the dark. just fails in dark, but yes. either way. I don't know where you got that password from. Oh, he's just being dumb. It was, there still was the wrong password, he just doesn't know. Okay. Okay, and what can you tell us about the rooms beyond this one? Why does it matter? You got me. Well, there's 50 gold in it for you if you'll tell us. And you'll get to live, isn't that nice? The next room over, which is going to be that way, is a replica room of this. There's nobody there. Uh, once again, out of character. That way is always north, mm -hmm. right? So. East. That's where the cage east. was. So if you go east, it's a replica room. And there's no one there. Uh, everyone that was there came into here. I'm not, I'm not playing in character anymore. Okay. Everyone that's there came here to help us. From that room, you can go east through a hallway, and my boss is there. When he finds you, he's going to spear you like a pig. <laughs> well, he's not your boss anymore, which is good for you, because we're going to kill him. Mm -hmm. There's another room of extra men that do patrol. Between the replica room and the room in the hallway, in there's the hallway. two doors, east there's a east past the replica room. There's a hallway mm -hmm. with, that has two doors. One to the north, one to the south. Goes in the replica room. There's a long hallway that goes south. We're not allowed to go that way. I can't help you there, but the man that's in charge, supposedly he's there. Now let me go. I've given you information. Are there any traps that you're aware of? Not that I know of. I only know this area. We're not allowed to go past here. How about any secret passages? I don't know of any. Is there a spider in the cage in the other room? No. Do you guys have any other questions for him? Any traps? Are there any traps? No traps. Not that I know of. But you'll never get through the main door. Fine. You guys are not strong enough. I would do that. Okay. Plus, from what I know, you need a key. Oh, who has the key? I had some keys, didn't I? Is this a new key? I don't think he would know that. Well, unless he knows who has that key. Do you know who has the key needed for that room? I'm not telling you nothing. You got your information. Oh, you're so grumpy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So, am I making? So, what we're hearing is there's the same type of room. That's the next room over with a locked door. 
Is that right? Before you get into that room or past that? It's a replica room right to the east. Yes. There's a hallway that goes more east where there's two doors. Okay. And from the replica room, there's a long, long hallway that eventually ends at a door. Oh, gotcha. That's what he knows. Okay, okay. Wish my brain was big enough to write all that down and make sense of it. All right. Um. So if it's exactly the same room, but the, all the people that were in it are now, we have already yeah. killed them. Killed them. Except for some boss that's past, past one so of the eastern doors. A replica doors. room and then a, a hallway. With a locked door at the uh, end. To the east. Yeah. And then a locked door past that to the north. And south. Then the locked door is to the south. Yeah, there's two. When you're in the replica room, there's two directions you can go. You can go east, where there's two doors. Or south, what eventually will end up to a very big door. And that's the one that he doesn't know anything about. But there's somebody there that does. Well, yeah. The, the, the big kahuna is there. Most likely. Yeah, and the other two doors, one is his boss. And the other door are like a bunch of men. You know, another cohort of... No, he said the boss was in the locked door to the south yeah okay all right we have no more questions for this guy um i'm just concerned if there's something else in that cage is there anything else in the cage because if it's a replica room does it also have a cage uh he says there is the only monster uh creature we had was the one you guys killed. Okay. Hmm. He should have poisoned all of you. you. None of you should be alive right now. <laughs> and yet here we are. <laughs> Luck. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Besides, you guys cheated. You made the room full of wind. That was pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sorry, saw the beans I had. <laughs> Maybe we should have him lower himself down into the pit for our safety. So he can't. So he can't run off and warn anybody. Well, he could. You would know that he could still do athletics checks to get out. It's just be very difficult for him. Uh, I'm good to just let him go. What do you guys want to do? And let him go through the way we came in. Yeah. Just like let him yeah, fuck mm -hmm. off. Go about his go about his business. Alright, so I guess I'll give him fifty gold and then tell him to take it take his life and start anew. Make better choices. <laughs> he gets to keep his weapons. No. Uh, what, what, he, we can allow one weapon for his safety, but yeah, short sword, everything else. He he uses a heavy, um, I don't know, a flail. That's the weapon he has, a flail. It's pretty big. Yeah, yeah he can um, keep it. It's fine. Really? Yeah. Just, you know. Look, if something happens, he's gonna have to kill himself. <laughs> yeah, those those are the rules. And if he makes a move now, I'm gonna stick him. I, so. I do ask him where he's where he's going. He belongs to a mercenary group. Where would he Where would he go? I'll make my way to Thunderspire Mountain. There you go. What can you tell us about that? I don't really know much. Never been there, but I know there is a gang there that would definitely take me in. These are slavers. I don't know. All right. Well, maybe we'll see you again then. What was your name? Bobcat. I give him this perfect opportunity to bring this NPC back, because now we're going to have to deal with some dude named Bobcat. <laughs> All right, Bobcat, he's in the book. Bobcat. We'll see you again, Bobcat. So he kind of like puts his head down, he has his weapon in his hand, he's just walking away like a little kid. Dragging his weapon. 
goes up the steps. Uh, can we loot the room and do all that? Uh, that yeah, we ended it with you guys getting nothing, right? Well, we didn't do it yet. All right. Uh, so that means you would have two, two flails, two heavy shields. Five light shields, five long swords, and total on all of the hobgoblins, you're going to find 10 gold and 20 si 27 silver. And they don't pay them that much. Can I do a, like a a check of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. This is just perception. Mm -hmm. Investigation. That's a one. It just stinks in there. Really That's bad. Yeah. Smells of pee. Moldy food. God, I hate goblins. Okay, what's that? That was the bedroom. Yeah, that was the bedroom. Yeah, like the room on the bottom. So, unless there's something you guys want to do, I guess we'll just go east. Well, you rolled a one, so maybe somebody else should roll. What was that a perception? You kind of like walked out of there before anyone walks. Was like, guys, and like you gag a little bit, like the stinks in there. I, I, I'm gonna do a perception check myself. Just go in there like this. In the room. Hold my breath. I'm known for holding my breath. Got a seven plus nine. The only thing you find is dirty bed sheets. Seventeen. You confirm that they're be dirty bed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> they're your These bed are sheets very, now. She got twenty-eight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's nothing there. There's nothing. <laughs> okay, you get to have the bed sheets then. Yeah. Like even the, <laughs> like even the food that. is just disgusting and molded. It, it's just nothing in there. That's. There's nothing down in the pit. Uh. Well, it is 30 feet. Uh, the light can make it somewhat down there. Um, it's hard to tell. That, you know there's water, but it's hard to tell. But you think there's definitely a body down there that's been there for a very long time. Some of the the bones are showing. You want to borrow a sunrun? Want to go check it out? Uh, 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 um, you have one already burning, right? I do. Why don't you hand that to me and I'll... Oh, no, guys, come road. on. Let's keep going. You're just, just messing around. <laughs> and Mary never knew that there was a magical staff down there. Uh, well, you could do a arcane check if you want. Let me do an arcane check. She would. So this is like, know. without going down, she can sense for magical items? I can mm -hmm. sense it. Oh, that's for anything good. magical. Not even, it doesn't have to be an item. What's the radius on the search? <laughs> one. Negative. One. I can't see it. He got, oh. She got a one. So she really never knew. <laughs> the stink from the, the bedroom. Yeah, you didn't shut the door. Me. I can't think anymore. <laughs> Ready to continue? Anything you want to do, Sam? Mm. You need a haircut, by the way? No. no. Mm. Just mm. curly. Mm -hmm. I'll say I, I, I like it. It's kind of looking nice today. My hair was back in the day. It's all over the place. Had that typical Italian Spanish hair. It would be wavy and curly and just go in all directions. Mm. I think so. I mean, I guess I could do a, another Arcana check. Sure. For the for the pit. Yeah. Just in case. Nine, nineteen plus Ooh. six. With that great time you take and search, you're definitely certain there is nothing magical down there. Well. All right. At least that's a relief, right? Now yeah. we know. I want to do a perception check in the cage room. I'm just gonna do it really fast. Oops. Oh. That is very fast. Five. That, that, no. that's not, that's not a roll. That's just, that was a dangerous roll. A two. Yeah, that's what you get you for not find spider droppings. 
Do they you have actually any medicinal, stepped in one. Medicinal <laughs> properties? No. No? Mm-mm. <laughs> Didn't know spiders had droppings. So as you come back in, now there's a smell in the room from their bedroom and a smell from you. <laughs> on your oh, foot. <laughs> Is there a lot of uh, spider webs around? Uh, in the in the cage area, there's some. 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 But okay. in this main room, no. In the bedroom, absolutely not. Okay. okay. And we killed the spider. Can we harvest maybe like um, some its venom glands? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Do they taste like lobster legs? <laughs> we're, eat we're not gonna eat. We're not eating them. We're not eating the spider. We're trying to get spider you some legs. poison for your daggers. This is arachnid. Yeah. <laughs> not a bottom dweller. Uh, I will say, give me. You want to do this personally? Do you have something you can put it in? Uh, venom. I mean, I have. Wine skins, but that's. Did I buy bottles? Did I buy bottles? I mean, it's probably been dead. Oh, you guys Ouch. can take your five minute surge, the five minute break Ouch to heal belt. you guys up, heal yourselves up a little bit if you have to. Does anybody have bottles? I just have wine skins. I don't know if that's appropriate. Yeah, we might accidentally drink it. <laughs> well, I. I or someone might that. accidentally. But did we drink. buy any empty vials? For like. Or do we have any? Did anybody maybe use a, a healing potion and has the leftover vial? I know we have we have something. We have a message cylinder. Maybe we can use that. Uh, I should probably circle this. So I, don't, I mean, I know it's there. But. Oh, what if we just um, douse the old message that we no longer need in the cylinder or anything in the cylinder with the poison so we can present it to a future boss or something saying we have a message yeah. that's going and to be get wet all over them. and they get poisoned well it's it's poison not oh, not, uh, acid. not yeah poison you need to ingest mm. into your body right uh, so well, can we put with. it in the cylinder then? Yeah. Yes, we can. It'll hold it. So okay. let's put it there. All right. Uh, give me. Uh, how long do you want to? Think of Robert De Niro meet the parents. How, how long do you want to milk the <laughs> milk gland the, the spider? <laughs> well, just the gland, right? Is that yeah. like a wisdom or something? Uh, you're gonna do a DC, DC check. So oh, roll so a just a dice, just a dice. Not you're just a... gonna tell me right now how long you want to do this for. We can't just cut the gland out and drop it into. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't know five minutes. All right, give me five d twenty rolls. Fourteen, twenty, one, thirteen, ten. Right, you passed four times. We'll say that is enough to get an ounce. What's the name of this spider? Jump, uh, death jump spider. Death jump venom? Is that? It's poison. It wouldn't be venom. It'll just be called poison. Death jump poison. Um, and it has, uh, what's your, what's your name said? Um, it definitely has to be ingested. It's not something you just put on somebody or whatever. It has to be, well, ingested or... Just just um, enter the body, right? You can actually put this on the tip of a weapon. Yeah. And just... So that's something to consider before we go in there. We can give that to you for your daggers. That'd be pretty cool. If it works that way, I don't know. That's what you're thinking. That is what I'm thinking. Um, all right, ready to move out? Yes. Yes. All right. I think we will go to the replica room. Everyone healed up? Yep. Everyone's good? Yep. Okay. So yes, you uh, make your way are you healed? Are you healed? Yeah, go. Did you get any 32? damage? Yeah, he's good. He's just down oh, two. Okay. I, I got healed last last time. Okay. So, what was the question? No, I'm saying you guys make your way east, and the room you get in is smaller than the other room, but it is definitely a replica. To the north, um, there is a door. It's not open like the other one was. There is a door. 
You see to your east that it definitely goes uh, into a hallway about 70, 75 feet or so. And you, you see a door to the north and south and you see the very long hallway, extremely long hallway. Uh, the room you're in is lit and for maybe about 20, 25 feet or so that long hallway is lit and then it is not lit. So you don't actually see how far this hallway goes. The one that's going south? Yes. And you said there was a door east? Uh, there's a door to the north. Uh, if this was the exact replica room, this would, in, would be the, the, the room that where the spider would be. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Except there's a door there. And what's, what's east? A hallway. The hallway goes about 70, 75 feet or so. And there's a door to the north and south. In the hallway? Yes. Oh, okay. Where, what's everyone's, uh... And we're, just, we're based on what... Goblin I think he said and... that there was... The... Bobcat? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. The, the, that actor came in my head from Police Academy or whatever. <laughs> he Godfrey? Had, is it Bobcat? He had said God, it was like that, down the hallway and then the locked door in the south was the, the was, oh, like, maybe Calarell's room, right? That's what we got? Off the east or off the south? I it goes was confused. The, well, the long hallway the long, says the boss, he said. The long the hallway. There's no, but there's two long hallways, right? Oh, there's two hallways? One the, one long, that's, the one that's east is about 70, 75 feet. The one that's south, we're just calling see. it very long because it eventually okay. gets dark. Right. But so it's this, definitely longer than 75 feet. So the long, long, the south hallway is where Calera? Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Okay. It wasn't officially confirmed. The guy just said the boss. And then he didn't really know what was down the east. There's the two doors. There are two doors. His personal boss is in one of them. Oh. So there are two bosses. Yes. The boss and Spence. his boss. Okay. So There's like one's a manager, the other one is a CEO. So you want to go to the door to the north? The one yeah, where the we cage would be? The yeah. First door? Do we want to check it out? There's no monsters, according to... No monsters in the replica room, but everything right. else is fair game. I'm okay to, to check that out. Maybe we'll check for traps and then sneaky sneak. Yes. So we will... Um... You're talking the north room? The north room? Yeah. Check the north way? Mm-hmm. So I approach... I go to the northern door. Okay. And I check the door. Uh, so you've rechecked? I or perception check. Perception check. Perception check. Well, thievery would be if I'm action an act doing something, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna well, look. I'm just gonna sense what's if anything's there. Try and peek through the the keyhole. Do I see anything? Nine plus nine, eighteen. Uh, whatever is on the other side, you do not know because it is dark in there. It's dark. Do I hear anything? No. So even with your dark vision, you can't see. Yeah. Oh, you have dark vision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should do. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to look for something here that I can't find. Am I in the right book? No, I'm not in the right book. That's why I can't find it. Uh, it seems to be a room no different than the other smelly bedroom. You get it. You get a waft of it through the the, the hole. You back up from the door and you just go. <laughs> It smells. It's another room. It's another, another room. room. That smells. <laughs> Where are you? Did you walk inside? No. no. He's just. I'm just sniffing through the keyhole. <laughs> and looking. And through looking through the keyhole. But you don't see anything. Um, I no. Guess not. There's nothing to be seen, but there's bed smell. You don't hear anything either. Didn't hear anything. Mm -mm. All right. You guys mind if I open it up? Oh. You want to open it up? Um, is let's check the doorknob. It's not locked. 
Okay. Go ahead, Paladin. Okay. Swing that door open. <laughs> I'll check for traps real quick, because that's a 20. I wasted it, probably. <laughs> uh, no. There's, okay. Uh, I'll very sl- I'll s- I'll use my negative two stealth to to slowly open the door and clonk my way in. Clink 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 clink. clink, clink. Yeah. Uh, well you get a you get like a few feet in and you realize it's not worth it. Okay. It's with the door being open, some light is coming in from the bigger room and it's almost an exact replica of the other bedroom. Mm. Uh, and stinks just as much. Okay. Alright. Moving on. It's moving on. Moving to the east. So, yes. I now, two of us. Uh, well, as you guys were there, what were you three particularly doing? I'll say you guys are still kind of like, you're in the room, you're by the doorway. What are you guys Sorry, doing? You did say there we're were patrols, standing outside right? going yeah. like this. <laughs> you guys? I'm. There is a pit in this room, too. Oh. Right. We'll just say you're generally in the big room, the three of you. Each of you give me a perception check. 20. Ooh. 20. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I thought it was like 20, but it should have been like 30. Oh, 20. 20. Oh, there you go. Plus right. That's the real 20. What's yours? What is it? Your perception is down here. Oh. 5. No. Yeah. 20. 16. Right. So this is going to... Work out pretty interesting. So we're gonna pretend the room you actually guys are in is the room. That door is to uh, the northern room. Stinky There's a room. hallway back here. Yeah. What's the stinky so, room? Yes. There we go. Yes. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm, oh. there. I'm sure this is what you see, real quick. <laughs> I was like, I'll go. Oh, this is something. Oh. Yeah, Oop. Oop. Something's peeking. You're not sure Somebody whatever was it was. Something back there. Saw you. You don't. Know, you, I mean, you don't know if yeah, they if you it. if they know that you oh, saw them. We but it definitely saw looked goblin Okay. And then jumping back. Okay. Um. The two of you enter back into the room with them. Hmm. There's nothing in there. It just smells it's gross. There's there's something down here watching us. Down the east corridor. Yes. The hallway. It saw you. Mm-hmm. What was it? I couldn't tell. Couldn't tell? It looked goblinoid. It looked goblinoid. The lower boss. Going the, towards the north door. It could be the... Is there the... any light down the east hallway? Yes. There is light down mm-hmm. that way. Oh, okay. I hop over towards in that direction and use my dark vision to see if I could see anything. Well, how no how is the light set up? Is it, Are there like multiple sconces or something? Torches on the walls. How many? Um, uh, two in the north part, two in the south part. Okay. It's enough well lit, and uh, also with your good vision, that north do- door you can tell is slightly open. Well, we might be walking into a trap, but I don't know what choice we have. I was going to say maybe we can douse the lights. It sounds like there's quite a few making our way over there and dousing them wouldn't give us much advantage at that point, I think. What if we just rush in and just bust in and just start? Yeah, they already know we're here. Yeah. If there's a they. Hmm. Right? We're gonna go in anyway. Let's just do it. Okay. So we'll, yeah, we, I guess we, we'll take our marching order and, and we do our whistle. best to stealth, but uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll ruin that for everybody. We pretend, um, okay, we know there's somebody there. Let's just kind of like mosey over in that direction, kind of backwards, and whistle a tune. And So if I get close, do we know that, so there's somebody at the door? Can I just reach in and grab somebody and pull them out? Uh, well, hold on for a second. Is that something possible? Who's got the most amount of intimidation? Can someone intimidate them before they even go in? Maybe. It's gonna make a lot of noise though. We're 75 feet away from them, from where we are. 
is what I wrote down right yes. from here That's, there. Yeah. So. Uh, so if it's a long corridor, there could be... Uh, you did a trap check, right? Nope. Not down there. We haven't even walked down there yet. Just, so you uh, guy, your guys are like here, the hallway is going this way? Yes. And the door is open. A little open. So it's like 75 feet up right. to that door. Well, who's our, our, our... They know that we're here. We know that they're there. Do we just all go down at the same time? The other door is opposite. Is right here. Okay. And so, th and this is the end of the hallway, yeah. then. Can that still see here? I have it on. It's off right now, but it's fine. I can see it. Okay. I mean, it's not off. It's power saving by having the thing mm -hmm. off. We should just throw acid through that door. Why? Is there like role play wise? Can I can I take a defensive stance like as I move forward? Does that do anything effectively? I'll let you take total defense as I move forward. But if during that time, if initiative starts, you will lose your first turn. As as your I'll say you lose your standard because that is a standard. Which is generally how I do things if you want to do certain things before, like if you use an encounter power right now, you would not have it in your first encounter, so it's kind of the same thing. If you want to go in there, but your, your defense is stronger, which would be plus two to everything, mm -hmm. I'll just say on your turn, you will not have a standard action. All right. You I'm, can use I'm an okay. action point, I'm okay obviously. With, I'm okay with that. Let's, let's say that that's what I do. That makes, that makes sense to me. So apparently Yago falls over. Um, so I'll I'll raise my shield and take a defensive stance, Shoot and I'll out like this, and I'll uh, I'll very stealthily and slowly open the door, and that's as far as I guess we're gonna get for now. As the room comes into existence, mm -hmm. it was a closet the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> You should have just kicked it down. It is, it is small. Sometimes it's fun to see a room get built. But then it takes longer. Right, come on, second door, second door. No, 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 I'll use this. You need a mechanism up top that just drops the pieces down. Like bowling pins. Oh, another door. Oh, another door. So that's right. Probably not just gotta get Rich to... Does he have um, the photo printer? Like the long one? What do you mean? Well, there are printers that will print photo paper that's like, you know, up to like three feet wide with, with actual photo paper. That door is slightly. Oh, there are so many doors. So this thing went in. So it actually over here then. Yes. These yes. represent a lot of them. So it's not just two. Yeah. It's multiple. There's a lot of barrels, a lot of crates. Um, I turn around and I just whisper to everybody I say there's nobody here but there's two more doors we can all move up a little bit and oh, follow oh, suit. Yeah, I'll give and some space <laughs> it's time I want to go check out the um, objects in there, the barrels and barrels? stuff. Barrels? You want to go check out the barrels? Yeah. Do you want to? I don't want to move your guy for you. Do you want to? Yeah. Show me where you want to go. 
I go in there and I see the back. <coughs> I check out all, all, check out all the barrels to see if it's any. Oh. So Yago, oh, in there. Yago is checking the barrels. Maybe we can fill up your flasks. I don't have any flasks. Oh no. But that's a good thing to make a note of to buy some empty bottles. You know, mm -hmm. clearly making use of them already. So. Oh, um. Make Didn't you have one of those squeeze wine. wine? The wine the things, wine. yeah. But we don't have any flasks, like oh. glass. Okay. Yeah. Unless we didn't we we did get I didn't I don't know if it is lit in this room. We have four yeah, lit. bottles of water, right? Something like that. That we got. Alright. So you you're gonna extra? we're just gonna say you're just gonna go ahead and open them up? I'd have to really okay. scroll back. Alright. Everybody get ready. I'm right, opening so up a barrel. In these are half rotted salted fish. Oh god. Oh, Splug's okay. favorite. Jerky. He would, would have really liked that. Best not to ask of what kind of jerky. Never do. Cheese. <laughs> grain. Some water. And other barely recognizable edible food. Must be a goblin thing. Yeah. This uh, is their f food storage. <laughs> after you're going th through there, you hear a voice from the north door. Guys, we got him! I t we should put the poison in this food. You want to kill anybody who is going to eat food after the fact, knowing full well that we have the intention of just clearing it out. So you, you don't know who's going to come and eat this and <laughs> yes, die? No. <laughs> okay. Are you sure about that one? Be very specific <laughs> right. when you use it. Yago's like, oh, just, just oh, get rid of it. Uh, Kill them all. So somebody, they got us. Pete's, we Pete's doing a thing, but I, I would like to take that jerky. And if anybody has jerky, like in... Can we check for traps you? In here? For me? What? Oh, he already opened stuff. Like, that's why, that's why I wanted him to move his guy, because I didn't want him to, like... No, he, he ran right there. He's If there were a trap, I'm sure he would have... I would have felt it. He would have felt it. They have us. What does that mean, they have us? This is not going to fit in here. Yes, it is. Perfectly. That door opens. Mwah. Take a bunch of the jerky and I toss it over to the paladin. And I jump into the air with my hands on my side and grab it like a dog. Paladin's <laughs> 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 uh, a trickster. He's funny. You're the trickster. Or you're an aerialist. Never mind. Wrong rogue. I'm only going to build what you guys can see. Oh, well, we see the jerky. So <laughs> The unidentifiable jerky. This is the best kind. So, best what is kind. it? Does it taste edible? <laughs> tastes like the, the jerky's probably the best thing. <laughs> it's like horse. It's like horse. Everything else is crappy. Yeah. Goblin jerky. Yum, 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 yum. It really what? tastes the goblin. Alright. 
Have we seen this before? I don't know what this is. Oh, that's Guy with Stick. Looks like the Flash. <laughs> Good old Guy with Stick. <laughs> Red Guy with Stick. Red Guy with Stick. Daredevil. There you go. Uh, yes, Daredevil. Yeah, Daredevil. That's right, yes. The Daredevil. So, like, what? He's got Tremor Sense and, <laughs> uh... Spear. I think if we back up against this wall, they're gonna have to come in. Maybe I, we can. Uh, Do we shut the door? That's a. That's I'll give you guys a few minutes to. Uh, idea. I gotta set this up because I didn't have. Can this we set up. shut and jam the door? Can we? Do we have any tools for that? Oh, yeah, we, barrels. Yeah, grab a barrel. Can we use? Stuff it in front of the can door we things. use the um, climbing? Those little climbing metal things and shove it in the door thing so it's climbing metal those, yeah i have a climber's kit so i have those little piton, oh. pitons grappling right will they if we shove it into the door will it stop it from opening well while you're all figuring that out i take one of the barrels <laughs> and start rolling it over towards that door is that um yeah we're thinking of is shutting it that working uh, you're just all standing there like this Talking to each other right now. <laughs> no, no one can move. And then, out of my way. I push the barrel up against which door? Are we? Well, we can't move. Yeah. Are we able to identify the the creatures we can see? Uh, they're hot problems. Um, All four just, of them. Yeah. Do you know the one that's right by that door is a soldier? You know the one that stares in, is a minion, a uh, grunt. You mm -hmm. fought them already. What's your number in hot problems? I mean, this group is like everything. I don't know why I even write stuff down anymore. Uh, yeah. 29. Uh, Hobgoblin Archer. I was going to guess 37. We, we know <laughs> the lineage of every Hobgoblin <laughs> down to their DNA. It's uh, Archer over there. The red in the red? No, the other one. This one is Yes, the one in the red is a Warcaster. Oh, uh, magical. All right, I'm going to head down that way then, I guess. So maybe we can all... And Iago's already back here. Maybe he can oh, hold the line like we did at the Kruthik encounter. Yep. In case anybody sneaks by. But I'll push in toward that way then. So, we see these people already? Mm -hmm. He said we, he built what we can see. Okay. So if it's there, we can see it. The way it's supposed to be done, but it's hard to do it. I should just... Can't move. I don't think. Oh, can we move. can't move. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm setting up everything we're on the thing frozen. here, and then we're gonna go into initiative. Okay. So this opened up to something, and this opened up to something else. I'm about halfway done. The room has a, a like a barracks type feel to it. I mean, once we start playing, would it be beneficial to shut that door? Team? That sounds probably okay. because there's like a soldier out there. Would having thieves' tools and being a thief enable Iago to better know how to lock a door? Yes. Without a key? Yes. So okay. it sounds That's like, like we push this way, you're minion. already in the back. back. Maybe you can kill the minion lock the door. You're our guy. You're our guy. You're our point guy. You got my Would six. it be two actions to shut the door and then to lock the door? Minor action to shut it. Standard action to attempt to keep it shut for okay. some time. So what I'm thinking is maybe I do the minor action of shutting it. 
Well, you'd have to be in, you'd have to be right up against it. You guys can whenever we start, like somebody can just kill this thing. We can't for some reason. But a, we can't it's a see minor action, it. so it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? Like, so he's not just doing. Right. Well, whomever. That's all I'm. Because you, your move action can come here. Right. My, oh, but then you, your minor would stop your move action. Yeah, I'm. I mean, yeah, I think those are all good ideas. I, mean, I don't need to do it. I was just trying to like. No, no, make it, those, it. Is, those are good ideas. As long as this dude dies, so there isn't someone who's gonna pop the door open right. Well, right, right. Yeah. Sounds like good ideas to me. And are we thinking? Which door are you thinking of shutting? I'm not shutting anything. I'm, gonna, uh, no, I'm no, no, pushing no, 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 up no, no, this no. way. That's not what I'm saying. You're, I'm not saying you're shutting anything. I'm saying which door are you thinking of? I was thinking of shutting the door that I'm standing in. The door. Oh, you want to shut this one? No, the one I'm standing in. Oh, behind us. Yeah, that's a door. We I don't came think, in that door. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm just I worried had... about what's on the other door on the other side of the hallway. Oh. I was not overly concerned about that, but we can do that because if it's going to be enough with what we have coming in these doors. Well, we right? know that there wasn't anything for that, 75 right. feet this way, and we we Except don't there's a know door across on the other side, right of that door, where we know there's. A mini boss somewhere, right? Yeah, maybe. What is that? Travix. Bobcat. Yeah. Uh, uh, is this is that? Well, Nineteen. Let's go. Is this... It's time. No, I don't what think so. No, these are Yago. hobgoblins. Yeah, but but he didn't say. We should know off anything. Uh, he said the black one is a ranger. The red one's a warcaster. Yeah. So those They're are by oh. and large Mary. the more dangerous ones that right. what we can see. Those are so heavy. They just like drop. 18. 18. You're in though. 18. They make like really They're big off. ones too. Really? Yeah, like they like the size of your. Yeah, like actually this big. I kind of want one to just be like. 19. Oh, wow. <laughs> Everybody, including myself, rolled high. <laughs> well, so then it's the same as if everyone rolled low. Yeah. All right. Context is everything. I'm going to, like, if I'm looking at this, I'm assuming that there's going to be more minions behind him, but that's really not much of an issue. And that there might Do be. Do you have minor actions? Is a good question. Because if you don't have any minor actions, then closing the door behind you costs you nothing, really. Right? Well, that's what I'm saying. Is that yeah. really. My minor. Yeah, costs you nothing. Is Just changing shit. into my beast form. Yeah. Which, so, from the longer hallway, you see coming from around here another one. Another one. Another soldier. Total defense is AC and defenses, right? Or is All it just defenses. AC? Okay. I don't need I this one anymore. This. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, you don't. I'll look it up and I'll have it later. Let me see. I'm going to put him here. <coughs> Wait, which one did you take? Oh, I remember now. I, I want to say Virtuous Strike, but I... I'm going to get that right now. I'll look it up. It was. The other one's Artie's. Yes, it is. You know what's funny is to the solution to this theoretical problem could have been solved down the line. There is a feat that actually lets you do that same thing called melee training. But this is a better solution, but there was a backup plan. <laughs> okay, we're missing some numbers. Oh, I already did. Okay. Oh, because I'm looking at the wrong one. You're a genius, Pete. You are a genius. Uh, I'm going to say 
say he had to open the door. Alright, so the archer in the back gets ready to shoot his closest target in line. Which is his ally. Exactly. <laughs> what you wanted, right? Which is gonna be Durak. Durak, you're staring him down as he's getting ready to shoot. He has a smile on his face and drool is coming down. Teeth are visible. And he's gonna roll a 15 on armor class. Well, I have an 18. You tell him. <laughs> and it goes, I'll catch you next time. This one's gonna come in. And go right next to you. <laughs> Like, where is he coming from? I was like, I was like, you were so smart. You, you were right after all. I will, I'm gonna build the room in a second because the door is open now. He has a long sword out. I thought there was no way. And I roll a total of an eight. Nah, not even close. Mm -hmm. I think they're coming out of that minion room, right? How much uh, time? Ha transpired between us entering the room, Yago, and like Yago going to get the barrels, and all of this, the enemy actions taking place. Like, do I have my standard like, back? Because like more than six seconds. 15 seconds. So more than six seconds, though. Yeah. Okay, so then I would still have my my standard for this, right? Uh, I'll that. give it to you. Yeah. Okay. It's it's been some time. You got jerky? What's going on? <laughs> he stole the jerky. <laughs> I, you see him chewing, yeah? I know, yes. He's got, can, he's got pocket jerky. Him. He's got pocket jerky. Him. Chewing Son away. There's <laughs> <laughs> beds. Alright, the war caster. Okay. War caster. Caster's gonna move. Four casters gonna move up. One, two, three, four. And he's yelling at his at the guys, get out of my way. I'll take care of him. And he is going to do a ranged five attack to Duroc. Hmm. This is against your fortitude. Eighteen. I have thirteen. And you feel this feeling of force that starts squeezing in on you. You're gonna take 12 damage. And you're gonna be slid right next to oh the Warcaster and that soldier. You okay? Yeah. Try the shivers. You're so close. Neri.
Your no. turn. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Where'd the rocket move to? <laughs> the hallway is too <laughs> wide. Oh, he's on the wall. So oh, he's okay. next to this guy. Yeah. Can you yeah. get in and see? Uh, Sam, what'd you roll for initiative? 19, but I don't know what it is. No, that's okay. As long as you can get out of there, I'll I'll fill it in. I'll I'll slide in there. You're ahead of me, I think. So should be alright. Juicy windmill like that's gonna be. Place. I know. Where should we? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Big, a big question is where are all these guys? Because what we learned, I looked it up over the weekend. You know how the wall of what we were yeah. building it kind of diagonally? Uh-huh. So think of a Tetris block. Okay. That's how you need to build it. They all need to kind of connect. So what did I do? Not by diagonal. Not by... diagonally, yeah. And you can go like this. Or like one, yeah. two, three, one, two, Wrong. and then come Wrong. back. Yeah. Uh, but they you can't do like one, two, three, one, one, two. Oh, like right. they can't connect. They can't gotcha. touch. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So where they are is important because you'll pro you can either hit like three or two. He's gonna have to tell you where which square they're on because I can't see for sure. I'm guessing they're. that these guys are on this side. All three of them, you think? No, I think these two. Where's but I'll have guy, and then I think all three of these guys are on this on this side. That's yeah. my guess. Yeah. Well, either way, it'll, yeah, because there's only two. Lanes. And it's gonna be right. super helpful too, because that range guy won't be able to. He'll be like eight times obstructed to shoot through. Everybody. Oh right, right. Yeah. Wind Because so I think good. so. Durak's next to him. So then, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, like that? Yeah, maybe. As long as it hits the maximum amount of people, I think no matter where you I think I just do, wouldn't be hitting obstruct. this guy and this guy. I mean, obviously not this mm -hmm. guy, but... Yeah. I don't want to hit the and, rock. And you can slide them, remember. Oh, right. So you could even push everyone back to give him the opportunity yeah, to move yeah. rather than yeah, right. shift. Yeah, Although okay, I think I he goes before you, so it probably won't matter. Okay, so but I'm we forgot going that to last time. use... Yeah. Um, Burning spray, so I need to be three blocks away from. Retargeting. Oh, very nice. Uh, I guess this guy. Which one? How about all the? What about all the minions? This way. Go this all, way. There's three yeah, guys here. You're already here. touching him. You don't don't you have to oh, be in, in okay. melee to do that. The close is a close blast, right? Yeah, yeah. close blast. So, yeah. Yeah, you just you have to like. Okay, so we're going this way. Um, and how many is this like is this two here two is this right, two you're here right and it's a, this is what square are you in i think if the rock was rock was rock here yes. or here oh he was here then was i was then i was here all right um he would be here so you're what in this square right here yeah that's square that's that's nary yes mm -hmm. yeah and you want to do your blast mm -hmm. So if you go, you can place it corner where it starts here and goes three, one, two, it'll get the two of them. You'll miss this one. Two's better than... Thirteen. Uh, what is this against? Um, it's against reflex. Thirteen's a hit. with your mod or without the mod? Without the mod. The I know it's I know it's a hit because I, I I know what her plus is. Alright, uh, attack the other one. Number two. Seventeen. Two, two out right away. Do you want us to tell you the mod or you, not anymore? No, tell me the mod, even if I know it or not. But uh. I generally know everyone's pluses. But you should always tell me. Okay, so the charisma is four. Now you you have a plus eight in total. 
to your full attack. I, yeah, and that's what I mean by like I, I know. I'm I learn just as much as you guys learn as we play. I start actually remembering. My brain doesn't fail me all the time. All right, so you took out number two and number three, and what, which once was Grunstare is now just flaming ash. All right, uh, do you want to move, or did you move? I don't know. No, she didn't move yet. Do you want to move? Lirandel, it's your turn after her. Um, do I need to move out of the way for you? No. But you could shift forward. I mean, in theory. I would. I would. Yeah. Like. Or back. The rock, because of where you were, out I of line of sight. a little bit more. So I gave you this, and I gave you the guys that. Can you clarify oh, no. where all these guys are for her? She wants to win walls. All right. Um. So the rock is there. Uh, there, these three are in a straight line, and yep. these two are on this side with gotcha. a space in between. Yes, gotcha. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to shift over here. All right. Okie doke. Um... I am going to move here and shut this door and then um, I'm going to do wind wall and it would be one, two, three, four, Five, six, because they can't be next to each other, right? Six, seven, eight. You, I gave you the little fire thing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just think mm -hmm. like te Tetris. Tetris, block, right? right. Yeah. We were doing them on a diagonal before. And I don't know how that worked exactly, but I think you can also build it up, not just uh -oh. straight, if there would ever be an application for that, gotcha. like maybe flyers or something, but... I, I, so we're I doing. Ask Pete, I don't that's know. fine. Yeah, one, that's, it two, works that way. Yes. Goes in any direction. Three. That's why they're so much better than burst and blast. You can just go anywhere. If you have an opportunity five, to take a wall attack, six. You should probably very much consider. Seven. It. They're fun. Eight. So. I have a wizard that has a power from uh, an ancient uh, artifact. The power he can manifest four different walls and he doesn't have to attack. He just says it, it goes, and it hurts everyone that's there. Oh my gosh. It's just not a lot of damage. But right. it's, he can only do one of them uh, in the encounter, but it's like, I make wall, and it just right. goes and just wow. does like five damage to everybody. What's that guy's number? One? I don't know, two maybe? This one's two. Uh, yeah, okay, one, yeah. It's hard to... It's soldier like, one? Yeah, is that, is that soldier one? Yeah. Okay, soldier one. Can I use your... <laughs> I'm oh, let me get this. <laughs> like, We're just supposed to buy new ones because these are getting crappy. We have some really oh, cool see. ones on the red end. Thirteen. Plus seven? I think you have. Plus eight. Plus eight. That's a hit. Okay. Now to the Warcaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is against Reflex or Fortitude? This is against Fortitude. Okay. Four. Plus eight what? is uh, 12, which yeah. is oh, miss. Yeah. Oh, I must never have noticed. And then the Grunt. Mm -hmm. The Grunt. 10, 18. Hits the grunt and kills the grunt. And that's all. So, damage to the soldier one, is that what I'm doing? And you can, remember, you can slide them oh. too. If you want to line them up or or push the slide. one that's next to Duroc back. So he well, can first, move. I hit this guy, right? So then do I do... Do the damage first. Yeah, damage is definitely first. So soldier two, one. 2d6... 
plus five. There's no modifier. Five, ten. Mm. Four, fourteen. All right, now the ones that you hit, you can slide. All right, so that's just this guy. Mm -hmm. It slide is any direction, as long as it's a straight direction. Um, what it was for? Fat back, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So. <laughs> There's a lot of things. In there. I don't know how. To do Who's this. got the tweezers? Right. <laughs> you right. hear the soldier going, "Excuse me, coming through. Yeah, right. watch, watch out." Okay. Dead man walking. So he's. Um, just for clarity's sake, we're gonna do this up here. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, oh, look, oh. they all fell. Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here. Yes, please, thank you. He, no. Oh, yes. Uh, what, oh, oh, my, oh, my gosh. <laughs> gosh. All right, all right. He right. was here, now he's back yeah, here. Yeah, but this is... We just, it's just the... Yeah, yeah, yeah it was it's an earthquake right. tremor. I was just going to put this up so that it yeah, made more that looks, sense for Yeah, us. it makes sense. I'm with you. Um, Because this guy then is next to... is This guy's right... Do you know what I'm saying? This guy's right in front of this guy now because I moved him back. Yeah, I got you. And then now, we now, have now he can uh, fire. Oh, I guess he's still there's fire still next here. to the warcaster. But the warcaster is warcaster. Surely that's not. But I didn't hit him, so I can't move him, right? Right. I'm just saying the soldier is probably the one that's more likely to land his opportunity. Uh, you attack. know what the warcaster does? Uh, he has a staff. He can melee attack with the staff very hard. Oh. And he has force lore, which he just did. He has force, force pulse, which is a blast against reflex. And that does just as much damage. And as all hobgoblins, they have hobgoblin resilience. They can, as an encounter power, make an immediate saving throw against something that they can save. The archer basically just has longbow, longsword, that's that. Okay. So he still has to shift out then. Uh, Travix. Alright. Um, I will go one, two. Is it enemies or creatures that enter the wall, take damage and all that? Each enemy in the wall. Oh, enemy. Oh, awesome. Okay, so three. I'm gonna just move this for now, but I'm gonna be in there. And I will mark the Warcaster. I'm just going to put it down here. And I will use my Fearsome Smite. Yep. 18 plus 9. Mm -hmm. This is against the Warcaster? Against the Warcaster. Ooh. And right through the robes. <laughs> Cut through pink. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, so 1d8. So that's a 5 plus 5. Mm -hmm. So 10 damage. And he... Right across the chest. Oh, it's two weapon, right? So... Is this an encounter power? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it two probably weapon. would be. Roll, so just roll one more time. One. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so 11 damage. And I'm going to give him this mark, so he's going to take, uh, he's going to, what, what, where are we at here? Yeah, so take the card and put it closer to the actual battle so you know it's in play. He uh, takes a penalty to attack, roll is equal to my wisdom modifier, which is two, so it's the same as the other mm -hmm. effects that he's got going on. And that's, uh, that's my turn. Maybe I'll... I'll say over here, ugly. <laughs> I'll try to. I need Mary to tell me the goblin insults. So right. this one's gonna. Which, which one of us speaks goblin? Walk in, stay in the corner, all the way till he can come in like this. Uh, Wouldn't he all way, take yeah, an opportunity to attack them? I came against the wall. Oh, okay. That, okay. And then came here. I'm assuming there's no wall effect right here because I see it starting here. Yeah. So there's. That's why I did that. Okay. This is an actual. Something they would physically see, so if they're smart enough, they would not walk into it. Animals and stuff like that probably would. A stiff breeze. Uh, so he's just coming in with the long sword. He's just slicing right at Lirindel with a horrible roll of an eight. 
He doesn't know what he's doing. He didn't take much practice. The rock. Get out there. So if you were to just move, move, you would take two opportunity attacks. If you were to shift, that's just going to be one square. Maybe you want to shift in that square. Over here. Behind, um... Behind your okay. paladin? Would I still take... No. Would I still do? No. Shift mm -hmm. I mean, that's your best bet. You could take the chance and move, but like I said, you're going to get two opportunity attacks. The oh, forecaster would have negative three, negative five to hit, though. Huh? I'm just saying, I think what he said is still the smartest thing, but if I'm just telling you, if you did want to move and you wanted to chance that, the warcaster has a negative five to hit. Now, you do know also that the warcaster can do a blast attack. So even with you here, he can still hit, attack both of you with a blast attack. That is still something to think about. So he could still hit you. It's taking a chance either way. Give if, him some if he didn't shift, um, how far away can he get? His, his you speed. could always Five. you could always shift behind me and then turn and cause fear. Oh boy! Send him oh down the hallway. Boy. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I maybe might save his life right now. I mean, I think you're good either way. I, I think might. you're probably all right. I might. Because if you send him backwards, not only is he going to get an opportunity strike from me, but he's going to take damage. I think, does he take, does anybody take damage from entering the wall after the fact? Or is it only when you cast it? The wall creates a zone that lasts until the end of your next turn. The zone grants superior cover against ranged attacks made through it that targets uh, armor class reflex. Just, I, I'm obviously missing. Uh, Mr. Dorf. Under your, in the middle of your page, under race stuff, do you have something called stand your ground? Yeah. Stand your ground when an effect forces you to move through a pull, push, or slide. You can move one square less than the effect specifies. This means an effect that normally pull, pushes, or slides a target one square does not force you to move unless you, you want to. In addition, when an attack would knock you prone, you can immediately make a saving throw. So I pulled you three, which means you only pull two. Mm -hmm. Is that a, like, a dwarf thing? Is that an at will or? That's, that's just being a dwarf. So he can, that every single time that happens. Yes, yeah. so, so you're actually here. Gotcha. So now you can just move. You right. can just go and where you save your life. Yes. All right. So you can move wherever you want. Well, I don't want to really be in the action, so I'm just going to. How, what's my movement again? Five. five. What's the range of your spells? Five. five. At, the at wills are five. Um, doing one of your encounter powers right now might be a good idea. Well, I think we're Did the wall? Does it say the wall? But the, does it, the, if they take damage if they step inside it? Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I got distracted. <laughs> um, Looking for jerky. <laughs> <laughs> the zone grants superior cover against range attacks made through it that a target armor class or reflex. Okay, okay, can I go? So no. Okay. Can I just like go like here or here? Yeah, five squares. You don't want to fire through the wall because you would have the whoever's getting hit has cover, superior cover. But. So you probably want to go after. Go you could even yeah. You could even caster. just go back one and kill this guy. Because there's that guy right there. You wouldn't even right. not even be able to move further back because you're gonna take a hit. All right, so then I'll move right there, and then you. Oops. And then well, there you go. You pile <laughs> drive. <laughs> there you go. All right. So you can you can probably kill that yeah. guy right there if you wanted. Just use an at will. Yeah. Which. Oh. Give me temporary hit points. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Is HP hit points? Mm hmm Okay. Plus, Plus eight or seven? Eight. Against reflex, uh, he is gone. Gone. Bye bye. Radiant damage. No. Nicely done. All right. What is the? Uh, that's number one. Yes. Number one is I'm gonna take him off. Mm-hmm. 
And Abby's like, and then, Whew. And you're Both of giving, you. You're giving it to Travix. How much? How much? Um, it's like weird. Oh. I think you get three. From what I remember. What's your... Gain temporary hit points equal to your charisma modifier plus one half your level. Yeah. Wait, can I see you? The, the, the middle number. Yeah, yeah. you can see me. That one. Two. Two plus half your level is still one. one. So you get three. Alright. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, and you're not going to do a minor action. Yago. <sighs> Uplifting music as Yago starts his turn. Lawrence of Arabia. So My lord was at a long movie. Oh god, yeah. Almost as long oh. as. Um, oh. oh I cannot that? use my. Doctor Zabon. Okay. I don't know if I've seen that one. Pretty nope. long movie. My dad showed us the all the. Russian Revolution. Yeah, he showed Russian us Russian all the Russian classics Russian. when we were kids, which, which I thank him now as an adult for. But back then I was like, why are we watching Bridge on the River Kwai or. You know, any of these other films. Um, Dear Lord, what was the submarine one? Das Boot. <coughs> das Boot. Das Boot. Any advantage mm. of me dropping right behind you? So he said this guy, we know this guy's a blast, so yeah. anywhere adjacent to somebody else is in theory a danger. Yeah, so I sh that wouldn't, um, yeah. So throw, you so. could throw dagger, you could throw shuriken, you could uh -huh. even, if you wanted, you could just start running around this way maybe. We don't know what's over here, but no. I think there's an assumption they're all gonna funnel this way. Maybe some you meet somebody here, hmm. uh, but yeah, you could probably be. Well, well you'd be adjacent to him, so you would be. You'd have to be like here, and then you could do it. I don't know what the range is. Well, is but you one, can come two, next to me. I mean, three, it's up to four, you. Five, there's more than one guy, six, which means I can't mark eight. everybody. Um. But I don't know. I can throw a shuriken at the There's red guy the and then okay. run that oh, path you're saying. The but What's the range? Um, um I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. Might take one where to go. Okay. It was it was ten, six or ten. Well, make sure. Uh, shuriken. Range. Um, oh, so you probably don't need to Six or twelve. Six or twelve. Uh, six. Six or twelve. Yeah, you can move I, up a little bit. I thought it was ten. And probably ten. chuck them at him. Or I can do a sling. That was my job. Which is a ten or twenty. <laughs> Which are is, your uh, are you are your abilities? Do they permit use of the sling, or does it specify that you need to use shuriken for this? It never actually says shuriken in any of my stuff, but it does say um, here, right here. Crossbow, light blade, sling. sling. So you can't use shuriken for this one. Light blade. Oh, that's a light blade. Shuriken's oh. considered a light blade. Then do yeah, yeah. Then you can be. So I can and, use either. Yeah, either one. And, According to the information you gave me last time, the shuriken distance is not 10 to 12, but 6 to 12. 6 to 12. But the sling is 10 to 20. Yeah. So I could... Actually, um, how far is the red guy from where I am right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like... Nine. The archer? It's less than that. It's like seven. Yeah, you're you're not that far from him. He's right in front of me and to the right. So like one, two. Oh, three, we're talking about uh, five, the warcaster. Six, seven, hmm. eight. Yeah, eight. And we don't know where this leads, does it? Not it doesn't even. loop around like that. You know. I mean, the whole battle is going over there. This just feels like I'm running away. We don't know. <clears throat> oh yeah, I can do that and then do a run. Okay. Excuse me. 
Um, how far can I go if I'm if I run? Uh, two more squares than your normal speed. So, so eight. But if you run, you're lowering your defenses, and your attack is negative five. But if I run afterwards, After, yeah, you run afterwards, you're fine. Yeah, I mean that would get me here, so I would uh, be able to see a little bit more if there's anything going on. But my feeling is all actions that way. I can always run back. You also have an action point. Once you have vision up the hallway, if there's like ten guys, you can come on back. Uh, okay. So I'm going to um, the sling. Yeah, like sure. <laughs> Twenty though. When it goes. Oh. Mm. So sure can get six. Six doesn't make it there. So I will. Well, you would have a negative two. You can do it up to 12, but anywhere from seven to 12 is a negative two on your attack. I like shurikens better. Oh, I'm gonna do a shuriken then. I'm gonna take a shuriken out, and I'm gonna aim from where I am at the guy in the red. And I'm going to do a, um, a sly flourish. It's a five. Mm. Plus eight, plus two, boom. So it's basically you're not getting the boom because it's past. It's like 13 or something. Yeah, so that's going to be a miss. Even without the boom, you would have missed. Okay. So it kind of like glances right to his side and he hits the wall. It's landed right next to him. Okay, so <sighs> then six, seven, eight. I'm going to go eight, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Is this accounting right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this eight? Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go right up to here. Over diagonal. So I ran over. I'm looking down the hall. It's like y'all go to attack and run. It's a bit Soldier number one should be next to Travix. He has an ally next to him. He's gonna do formation strike and crit. You're gonna take Travix 16 damage. What is this on? Armor class. Okay. And he is gonna shift in this square because of the power that he got to use and then as a movement he is going to shift again to this square and knock everything out. I don't know what he's supposed to do anymore. So he is now directly behind you. I can't get through the fire. The wind. wind. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four. Actually, you know what? He sees it. He knew it was there to begin with. He's gonna go a different direction. Purpose. And then he sees Yago. Goes. Oops. <laughs> Round two. 
this guy back here. He's gonna shift up. He's gonna do formation strike. And that is the complete opposite roll. Archer is gonna fire at Duroc again. He has severe disadvantage because of the wind wall. Yes. Uh, I know you're there. I can smell you. Hits the war cast. <laughs> that is called two ones in a row. <clears throat> the war caster is gonna do force pulse. It's a close blast five. It's in the wind wall too. Is that does that on will? Oh. Let's do this again. One, two, three, four. Neri will be all right because of wall effect. So it's this is gonna hit Travix, you, whoever you are, Duroc, Lirindel. What about the guy next to him? No, because it starts in the square in front, not from you. Um, all right. So this is gonna be like this against Reflex. Mm -hmm. This is against Travix mm -hmm. first. Can it be this way then? It's a blast. I'm going. going I'm shooting way. it forward. So it go, it's it's start, it's five squares going this way. It's five squares, but it's only two because I'm in a two uh, two row hallway. So it's just going two 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 five times. The close blast. He has to be touching the target, right? No, it could be five squares away because it's a close blast five. It's every what square. Am I, thinking? I have no idea what you're thinking. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is gonna go against Travix first against Reflex. And then oh, it is on Reflex. Yeah. So yeah. then that's. Well, he's in the wall. wall. He's in the wind. He's in the wind wall. Uh, that only affects range. Yep. This is not range. Uh, this is blast. Uh, this is um, AC or Reflex. Oh, if it's long range or just everything. It it says um, superior cover against ranged attacks made through it that targets AC or reflex. Yeah, through range oh. attacks. Yeah, this is a blast. It's gotcha. it's a completely different fighting component. Alright, Travis. Against reflex. 17. Uh, that hits, but I can use my divine counter for the first time since I picked it up at level 2. And I can cut the damage in half. Alright, until in, into his own soldier. That's a hit. Into Duroc. That might be a hit. Uh, 14 on Reflex. 11. Ouchie. To Lirindale. That is very much a hit. Uh, 24. 14. Alright. Anyone that I miss takes half damage. So the damage is going to be... 10. That also goes for soldier. What soldier is the one up high? One. Right, so he took ten damage. I hit you. You said you're using a power that does what? Cuts it. Uh, I only take half damage, and they Let's get marked. But he's already marked. All right. So if he gets marked again, does it extend the mark? No, the mark is indefinite. As long as I'm engaged, so we both oh, technically got 10 this damage, is a different mark saying? anyway. Yep. So you could argue this is worse. But, uh, so I don't know. this was I also force damage. It makes it worse. But. You see your wind moving a little bit, Neri. How much damage did I take? Uh, the total was ten. So, so you said five? half. Yeah. Yeah, five damage. Okay. And you guys are starting to get the hint that this guy is definitely the most dangerous on the field. Oh, and he backed the heck up. Yeah. Okay. I have to recharge a six for that, and the first one I did against him, I have to recharge a five or six, which I'm gonna do the five or six now. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. Mm-mm. -uh. Uh, I apologize. He has the that orange mark. He has a penalty to attack rolls equal to two. So all of his attack rolls should have been decreased by two. Did anyone remember what I rolled? <laughs> you you rolled for me, you rolled a 17, and I have 16, so he actually would have missed me. So I right. would have done five, which meant I would have done this. So does it go to three or two? I'm, if I read it, because it might say has to hit. 
technically I wouldn't have hit you. You hit. So it's still five. So I still have never used this. <laughs> and we would have stopped. I, I hit you by a lot. Well, yes. Yeah. And then it was you 14 had, and then... I would have been a 12. Right. He still would have been hit. Yeah. And his soldier still would have been hit. Yeah. So nothing actually changed. Well, he... Except for... <laughs> not uh -oh. being He's also uses. marked with the divine challenge, so he takes another two... No, he doesn't. Because you were engaged. Yeah. If you're in, if I t do attack that involves you, I don't suffer it. That should actually say that in there. Uh, let's see. The target until a creature can be uh, while the target is marked, it takes the first time it makes an attack that doesn't include you. So does it does it? include me. So it, do it doesn't take the damage. Uh, it doesn't actually say. It actually doesn't say. So we'd have to check like the mark effect itself. It should should say on there. And then while you're doing, you're looking that up, I'll look up group defense, because we might still, th those of us who got attacked may still take uh, one extra. I'm sorry, that's my bad. I put all this stuff on him and I didn't. Yeah, so all of, all of us, all of us get a plus one to all defenses against creatures marked by me, regardless of whatever else he does. Plus one attack. So we get here, yeah. Plus one to defenses. Also, it takes radiant damage equal to three plus your charisma fire the first time it makes an attack that doesn't include you. But does he As a take... target before the starting next turn. Oh, it doesn't say it. Yeah. It doesn't include you. But you were included. Right, so he doesn't take the damage, take the but damage. does he get the negative two to he hit? Still, yeah, he's, he would. He would get that. And yeah. we all get plus one to defense because of the feet. Right. So he's actually, so against all of us, against all of us, he has a negative five negative. to hit. And against his allies, he would have a negative four to hit. Sorry, guys. Negative five instead of negative two? Well, so we get plus one to our defenses because of this. He gets negative two because of this one, uh -huh. and negative two if he. I think he's double checking because of this one. Okay. Yeah, it, the negative two is different from the actual does not include you attack. So everyone would still take a negative two at that point from that. So, so we all get plus five basically, and they. So all, the, you would have gotten just yeah a five lot of damage. You can give him five more health back. But everyone, you still, like I said, I hit you by a lot, and oh. I hit my own guy by a lot. Okay. Well, I'm glad we at least well, clarified. Yeah, the rock yeah. did it. So I'll give him one of those over yes. there. Now you're not bloodied. Wait, no, what's half? It's half mm. bloodied? Yes. Yeah. So now you're not bloodied. You were bloodied. You feel better? Mere moments. Chrono <laughs> 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 Okay, so I'm going to go after this guy. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Um. I'm going to do um, a chaos bolt. Mm -hmm. uh, charisma versus will. Eight and eight. 16? Just a hit. You can attack someone within five feet of him. Five squares of him. So my second hit? Yep. Yeah, you went for one? Yep. So now you're going to go for two? Yep. Uh, Who's... there would be a negative two on that because his buddy's in the way. Yeah. Oh, because So it's just a negative traffics? two on it. Yeah, uh, no, because of the soldier. The one that she just hit. Oh, is in front of you. Yeah. Him. I gotcha. 14 and 8. Uh, that's a hit. Two. All right, 1, 2, and 3, 4, even. 5. And it's even. But you don't have line I don't... of sight on the other guy, I think. Well, you have line of sight, but I don't think you have the distance. This was the original target, which is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just missed. So you can only get those two. Uh, okay. So the first one is going to take 1d10 10 plus, plus 4 plus 8 plus 8 5, 6, 7, 8 plus 10 1d10 plus 10 to the first guy Is that plus 11? Cause are mm -hmm. you, what type of damage are you today? This is a uh, force, not the fire 
The other one is to is gotcha. not to do extra damage. This is Soldier One, right? The one that took damage, right? Yeah. One D ten plus ten to this guy. Hook him up. Five. 15, 10, 15. I think you put him into a mortally wounded state already. Yes, you did. And the other one is going to take... All right, let me think of this. This is just... This is not modifier. So it's 1d6 plus half your level is 1 plus the bonus of the 2 because you hit 2 creatures. 1d6 plus 3. Two and three, five. All right, so that... Hobgoblin uh, soldier number one is looking pretty bad. Movement. Can I get out of the way? It is Lirendel's turn after you. You're actually going all in order right now. Neri, Lirendel, Travix, Darak, Iago. Is number one? Or is he? There's like three he's, squares he's, he could be occupying. I'm, he's directly behind me. Yeah, they're flanking you right now. Okay, that's fine. That works out pretty well, actually. Are you gonna move after your turn? Do you know what you're doing? Um. Uh, so I call the arms poles. No. So I there's a guy in front of me. So if I try to pull um, the like, guy behind him, does it just stop? I mean, I can move. I don't. I mean, I should move. It has to be. But so there is a method of doing it if it's guys. cornered, not straight. And then so normally it goes the most di forward. direct, which right. is going to be forward first, and then it'll move over. It'll always go like this. So it depends on how it lines up. Well, that guy is a straight line behind in, in front of me, but there's a mm -hmm. guy in front of me, so yeah. it did stop one yeah. square short. I'm going to well, look can like I straight over to Five. get yeah. that guy. Yeah, just yeah. You can stop go, right here. It, you I can't put him adjacent to me no. to the side. Go it's a pull. You? It's always straight no. down. Maybe. Unless it's cornered. You're not cornered with him. Because you can move. Do you know what what if I yeah. shift to the right and then pull? Like, like, how would that work? It will go like this. One. To so I mean, yeah, can, eventually it'll be fine. So that'll work. I mean, yeah, yeah. shift and then pull. Yeah. Okay. Versus I'm not, I'm here. Because it's always going to line itself up into a direct line first. So uh, I'm going to move here. So is this? I'm trying to. Pick, I'm trying to not to break the place. <laughs> Chaotic mage. One, two. They spent a lot, three, lot of time four, building this room up. Five. Six. Mm-hmm. Okay. There and now. Alright, um... You just gotta look past the smell and the right. architecture, you know. <laughs> the bodily fluid. Yes. I mean, this room smells pretty good. If I recall, there was some jerky back there and some cheese. The jerky was pretty good. It was yeah. the fish. quite the interesting fish was, that the jerky would be good. There's no fish here. Nasty. Was there? Dried I have water, fish. cheese, green. So once again, that, uh, the was soldier that's fish? Was that here? standing tall is bloody, not is mortally down. wounded, looking pretty bad. Okay. Um. I. Um. I'm gonna move out of the direct line of sight. But I'll still see him, right? He's not in the corner. He is adjacent to Travix. Let me oh. move the door. Get this oh, I see. He's like yeah. right here. Yeah. Let me take his. He's right behind so me. If, Directly behind me. Okay, but if I move here, I can still see him. Yeah. Okay, but at least I'm not. Like... You will still have a negative two to hit him, though. That's the problem. Oh, I will. You might want to. Can I attack first? If you are you playing the attack? Yeah. Take the chance of attacking and not rolling one, and then move if that's where you want to be, because you will have a negative two. Okay. Okay. I'll there. attack him first. I'm gonna use my fire hawk. Firehawk. Reflex. 14. Hit. So it's 1d8. What is my, my wisdom modifier? You're yeah, plus 5. Plus 5. Thank you. 3. 8. 
Eight on the number. Firehawk goes right through its body. Nice. And then I would move. A little bit of blood goes on Travis. I'm gonna move. We haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Yeah, it's been it's at like least like one encounter. Yeah. The last one we did, um, been like twenty minutes. <laughs> he put some snow I'm on gonna, me if I recall I'm gonna go just right here. Ash. I'm gonna go right here. Somewhere okay. here. Travis. All right, I will shift one square to. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, all this goes away. Yeah, we can. Do so I'll actually uh, I'll shift here against the wall. Like that. To make my life easier, I'm gonna put this up here. And then I will mark, right? One, well, the mark is like 10, I think. No, it is also 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I'm gonna mark this one. I'm not gonna pull him. And then I will pull him with my call to arms. I think you have, yeah, you have to roll for it first. Yeah. Kind of together. 17. Mm -hmm. God bless. Yes. Plus mod. So I so he's right marked adjacent. he's marked first, then I pull him over here. And I will Alright, well get against the wall, buddy. And then uh Oh, and then I get the attack component, which is uh four plus two plus nine. So fifteen uh, on AC, right? Four, yeah, 15. Unless there's another bonus that I'm not aware of. I don't think so. Mm -mm. 15's gonna be a miss. That's fine. We did what we wanted to do. Uh, and, uh... Movement? I shifted already. Okay. Uh, and, this is a, and this is a minor. Uh... Yeah, I am good. That's good. I'm good. Duroc. <laughs> medic, medic. Do <laughs> <laughs> you need to be healed? I do. Minor first. Right, where's... Healing word. And what about healing yourself, too? We can only do it once per round. Even though it's a minor action, you can only heal once per round. From where you are, nobody should be hitting you anymore. So you should be okay. All right. And you can move. What are you at? Nineteen. Yeah, you're fine. You should be fine. Don't take my word for it, but I think. <laughs> All right. you're take my word. But you're fine. <laughs> if you die, you die. But uh, I think you're gonna be okay. Trust in yourself. You but All right, so you heal me first. So do I need? You don't have to roll for healing. Oh. No, you, you just heal him. Oh. Yeah. So a healing surge. Roll one d six. And I what's your wisdom modifier? Yeah, what's One. your wisdom modifier? What'd you get? One. One. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We don't get along. Right. What's the wisdom modifier is this one. I can't four. see it. Four. So, so five. plus five. Plus four. So five plus nine. Which isn't so bad. Uh, no. Puts me up to like what? Thirty-three? Because what is this? Four, what did I say? Fourteen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not so bad. And then you still have your your standard action. Yeah. So you can still attack. How many enemies are on the board right now? Four. Four. I, okay, oh, the archer. I forgot about the archer. He's just sitting here hanging around. He is just hanging out. All right. Uh, Duroc, you know that that Warcaster is still the, is, is a threat. The, the soldier's a threat, but the Warcaster is a threat. Um, you have two encounter powers still. Yep. He's got like five of them. I know, what he's got mean? a ton of them. Six, he's got six. Did you use any of these? I used this one. No, this one. you can do that twice. Yeah, Healing you do twice. That twice. So that's not done. Yeah. So yeah, I would. So the the fear is not really super strong here. It's just me and you in line of sight right now. He's marked up, probably gonna hit me. He has to recharge his AoE abilities. Uh and to hit you he takes a penalty because he has to go through me. So maybe one of the other ones. You did this one? No, Don't think light. Oh, oh, oh. Man, command though, right? <laughs> like, right? Would be so good. <laughs> yeah. 
Don't turn light if you can hit, can put some damage out. Alright, should I try this one up? Rage 10? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, on. What's his name? The Warcaster. Thank The Warcaster, yeah. Wisdom vs. Reflex, go ahead. Alright, 20. Knock him out the box. <laughs> That's tilted, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Do it again. 10. Uh, plus 8. Mm -hmm. On Reflex is a hit. Nice. 2d10 plus 5. Which one's d10? Um. No, that one is The one's in here. Do it in your hand right now. Yeah, that one. That one. We got 5. Four. 9. Uh, 14. And what's that too? He's, he's no resistances now? Somebody. You can see, or you grant combat advantage to the target. So you would have combat One advantage. One ally you to the can target. see gains combat advantage against the, the target until the end of your next turn. I'm thinking of the one she's got that peels resistances. But it says of the target, so I think it's just the one that I attack. Yeah, okay. has to be right. that target. Just whoever's yeah. attacking him. Okay, so who would be better? For uh, and also bloodied. Okay. That's what needed to Wait, get do done. You, do you have to choose, or is it just whoever's? It's, I, I, I can, oh. it's whoever I can see, but I can choose. Yeah. Well, but it's whoever. There's really... Actually, you can see everybody. <laughs> right. Technically, you can actually see everyone. So they all grant combat advantage? No. One, no, it's one alley. One, it's oh, like, one target. So it's Is it the best. target of the spell, or just it's like it, after the fact? It's it's like this one. Like one alley target of I the, can see. Target from the attack. From the attack. But it's yeah. this target. Right. Yeah, the target it's it's best one. to give it to you. Gotcha. Yeah, you give it to Trap. Okay. You want to move? I mean, you're... I'm the only one he can... Uh, no, Yago. Well, he can give it to anybody. That he can see. Right. Yago, Which I can see, but I can see everybody, so... Oh, oh yeah. yeah you're okay. in the best spot yeah. to see everybody. Yeah, you're yeah, in the right spot. <laughs> yeah. Like, guys, watch this! <laughs> but where, where are you in the order? Are you next? I just went. You just went. Yeah. Yago's um, yeah, last. Who's going They now? don't need it. In theory, it's you or me. Can he give it to himself? No. Has to be an ally. Okay. So it would have been you or I. Gotcha. Or, you were me. I understood. I was correcting my own grammar. <laughs> Sorry. Well, no, you're right. I tend to do that. <laughs> oh, you being a teacher, if you would see the way I write things, especially notes, you would have a field day with my grammar. Oh, you. you would. It would be the best day of your life. <laughs> I talk. I talk three to five year olds. <laughs> that, that's me. I'm in that range. Three to five year olds. But I actually write very well. You can understand everything I write. Right. I'm write perfect. He makes letters good. But they're just the wrong letters. <laughs> Yeah, I go takes frost mm -hmm. and turns it on and says frost Free start action. to frost and it starts to shimmer and crackle and starts crackling all the way up to the tip and the tip sound goes <laughs> BING And Neri behind you just smacks you to the back <laughs> like can you just and, kill it? <laughs> and that's like my sign to go and he marches forward one, two, three, four, five, six, right in the soldier's face or no the minion? Mm hmm. G minion grunt. And he sly flourishes. 14 plus 9 plus 2. Gone. And he explodes. <laughs> All yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Snowflakes. Yeah. All over you this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're right there. And I just <laughs> shake it off. And, and Travis goes, I heard that! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, round three, soldier number two, going against Travix. Uh, he has a hobgoblin next to him. The, the he does, yeah. Okay, so yeah, he, he can do formation strike. That is the third one I rolled. Uh, the archer is going to continue to go after. Durak. More drools coming down. I'm gonna get you. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, actually, I think I'm like 17 on armor class. Well, it's negative two because I'm in front, armor right? Class. I miss even with the negative okay. two. Wouldn't matter. Warcaster. I am gonna do my d6 for force lore, which is a five or six. 
The other one is for four pulse, which is a six. I cannot do either of them. I am next to Travix. So with his staff, I'm gonna do shock staff. You see him hold up the staff and it starts lighting up. Okay, he's gonna make his attack against armor class. That is the fourth one I rolled. And I can't even move. Neri. It's cause it's cause every time before I go to bed, Neri hits me with lightning. I'm very I'm used to it, you know. Here's here's some curses you can throw at. Ah, let's go. <laughs> Neri makes a paper airplane and throws it with a message attached. <laughs> <laughs> Flying paper? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go after the guy on the wall. That's Darak. Oh, Darak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the two people with range attacks did already attack, though. If you did want to come back this way, you would be... <clears throat> You'd be okay. The thing is, you're these, right these there. Are the, these are the guys that we're going after at this point. Those three? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the archer had never been touched. Soldier 2 has taken very minimal damage. And the warcaster is bloodied. So, can... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about you, but I'm always trying to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's it's gotta be you know the the height thing, you know, happening. <laughs> right. Yes. You're like competing to who could be shorter, maybe. Right, right. Yeah. You still have one of your encounter powers. Did you use Essence Prism? No. Oh, you still have both of your encounter both, powers. Both. Where yeah. did she go? Yeah, this is round three, right? <laughs> both of them are at will. Oh. So you know if you were to hit, you would have yeah, like, plus okay, two to damage because last time you had you hit two characters. It's clear here now. Follow me. <laughs> She's like, zoop! Went the other way. Yeah. After hitting me and go, then went the other way. You're like, where is she? Where's, she? Where's my backup? Here. I'm all alone. There's no backup because there's nobody there to fight. You're just checking out the tapestries back there. Enjoying anything to steal. Yeah. Looking for more jerky. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's try... Thunder Slam mm -hmm. against one creature, Charisma versus Fortitude. Mm -hmm. Who are you going after? Um, War Warcaster or Soldier 2? This one? Soldier 2. Soldier 2. That's a 5. Ouch. That's a 13 on Fortitude. You said you wanted to go after the Warcaster? Soldier 2, she said. Soldier 2. The Warcaster? Do you want the to go war caster, the... yeah. Okay, that's a hit. <laughs> but not the soldier? Do you guys want to go back to town? I so, think we need to go back to town. Is... <laughs> we can't advance, I'm... we have to go back to town. I only allowed that because you rolled before you picked. She, I oh. think she did. <laughs> <laughs> the so, war caster's bloodied. So I think, it, yeah. and he's Do more dangerous than the other one. So you're at four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. 2d10 plus 10. There's no reason why you wouldn't have gone after the Warcaster. You know he's bloody and you know he's the biggest threat. Well, she's trying to secure all those kills, you know. It's more important. <laughs> you don't know her motivations. 2d10. Okay. 10. That's 20. And 4. 24 damage. How are you destroying this Warcaster? 
Um, Sending them back to town. So, um, I take my hands and I start forming a That's also wave the most of done, sound, so that will be and the I send a shockwave right into his brain. And he slams against the wall and he's done. And there's an echo oh. of thunder. And it goes around. Yeah. 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 The yeah. battle shake and the wall shake. Well, it, it kind of like circles around and you oh. feel it. And it's like, oh, my, my wife did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just married in, in game? I didn't know that. I don't. I didn't know either. When <laughs> <laughs> this happen? Just some <laughs> crazy narrator from above just yelled it out. What? And you're like, what? <laughs> like, what? I'm very British. <laughs> Where do I put Boy. this out on my sheet? <laughs> Does this give me advantage no, 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 on sure. anything? Yes. <laughs> yes. Leave and down. No, it, it gives me disadvantage on Okay. <laughs> yeah, wisdom saving throws. <laughs> um, you have a zero charisma. <laughs> Should be two more right. down here. The I'm archer. Go here, and I'll go after number two. Right? Does does he have any damage? He's been hit, but it was a very light hit. Okay, so I'm going to use call the herd on soldier two. Oh no! I, no, I, I can't wait. One moment. I need to first change my shape. Because then I can use that power. And then I will attack Soldier 2 with Call the Herd. 7, 8, 15. On reflex? Well. Just a miss. Oh, come on. Right. The end for me. <laughs> you did your Travix? I will. Uh, I'll start by marking him. Oh. And then I will use my enfeebling strike. That's a one. Mm, goodbye. Well, he got marked, <laughs> so that's good enough. The rock. Mm. All right. Over there. Do you need to heal yourself? Yes. All right. Do I just use healing word myself, or is there something else to do? That's the one. You. All right. <clears throat> No, to heal yourself, you do. The healing surge plus one d six plus four. Uh, five plus four, nine. Plus your surge. Plus seven, so sixteen. You're back plus to thirty five. Do you want to stay engaged? Because he still has his encounter power. If you don't want him to use it. What do you mean? The clause here. The mark will stay until it only like dissipates if it's if I'm not engaged at the end of my turn. So well, I'm just asking if you just don't want him to run away right now. Oh, Take the free you, attack. you do whatever you want. If you want him to run away, you let him run away. That's fine. It also what? allows you guys to get in there closer to Is try to get the guy? archer. What? There's only there's this guy and that guy. There's number oh, two. There's a guy. Yeah, here. I was saying you should use uh, cause fear now. On, um, on this guy? Let's yeah. You know, if it does work, you get let you guys move in a little bit. Alright, then I'll do that. D20. 18. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't get the hit because you're doing it. Go ahead. Uh, 14. Oh, right? Wait, uh... Strength modifier plus your plus one. Well, we got this guy now, but so it's just 14 then. 
Which is charisma AC. modifier. Plus the charisma modifier, because the virtuous strike can be used as a melee basic attack. Ah, yeah. So, I mean, it's just this, the original 9 value, right, plus a 5, so 14. Oh, I thought you rolled a 14. No, 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 no. no. All right. So it's just gonna run as fast as he could and smash into the wall back here. <clears throat> uh, movement, Durak. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm fine there. Maybe I should move up a little bit. Maybe. Where are those two guys left? He's, I, I would stay where you are. All stay right. where you are. Yago. Okay. Let's so take work now. Now. You're at 10 from them. You pushed that guy where I was planning on going. <laughs> <laughs> um. And I have to reconsider your plan. Okay. Can the enemy um, shoot arrows through the space of their, um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, with no penalty. And he, this one just has arrows, right? Does, does he has a long sword. Long sword. Oh, okay. So now it doesn't matter. Yago takes his. Uh, he has his sword out still, but that will only. Four, can we go? Oh, one, two, three. If he says he wants to make a movement while it's like, like stealthy, like because right now nobody knows where he is. Yeah. Can I, he say something to the effect of like, oh, I, I want to shift one square out um, using stealth and then maybe hold an action? I would agree on it, but it is irrelevant now that combat has started. Once combat is starting, you actually have to have a power that allows you to stay hidden. Uh, you can roll to be hidden, but it's very hard to roll it without a power if you want to do that. But you lose the ability to be hidden once you attack. So, you can attack and try to be hidden, but you actually have to have cover to begin with. So you don't have... Um, but what if you shift it out, used a ranged attack, and then you use this as a minor? Well, that, yeah. And then, then you're obscured, right? I don't have to shift out. I can walk six, get up close to them, right there, drop this down in the spot, I disappear, and then I can do a ranged attack because six only gets me right up but one block your sling, away. But your sling hits at ten. And you know the guy who has melee, who would be the person who could enter your obscure square and then hit you for no attack damage like penalty, that. or no attack roll penalty, hmm. can't reach you. I, like, I don't think he has 10 movement. So if you just like shift forward, you have a 10 range, you can use a range attack, use your cloud, so that the archer can't hit you, and the other guy, even if he ran to you, wouldn't be able to reach you in time. So you're kind of immune to damage in that sense? Hmm. Does that make sense? I guess. Yeah, I can't go far enough unless I run, which would lower my attack. Uh, and the slings. So I've been fighting with this. No, I would have to. No, I would have to. I would have. To, is that a free action taking the sling out? Yes, I think so. I don't know. Well, how many squares is this guy? See, to begin with, this will be a six He's right in the here. Corner. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he, I mean, Jesus, it's, you always think it's more than it is, right? So he, yeah. he, you, both of you can attack each other no matter what. Yeah. Is it a, is it a minor to take your sling out? Or just to That's load a shuriken? I don't know how that works. I, the loading 
is a free action. What happened to that sheep? Oh, there it is. Load is free. I mean, you could you could also gamble that he's just going to attack me because he's been shooting this direction like six times. I'm closer. It's a, it's a clear angle. There's no stuff in the way or walls in the way. You could gamble that he that without cover, without anything, he still aims at me. Hmm. But I don't. There's no guarantee at that point. All right, Yago, who are you killing? Is pulling his sling out a minor action? Yes. You know what? A I'm any gonna item do? is a minor action, no matter what it is. As long as it's considered an item, it's a minor. What I'm going to do is not totally smart. I'm, um, I'm, it's going to negate this. Um, if I run, that brings my attack down by two points, right? Five. Five? Oh, well, <laughs> that's just, um, never like, mind. Um, <laughs> just roll a 20, man. Wow, wow. It's not that hard. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I will go here. I was like, "Yeah, where'd you come from?" <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this, but I can't. One, two, three, four. What's it? Yeah. One, two, three, four. I'll stay away here. I'm gonna drop this guy. Okay. We like it. Um, and I'm going to um, take out my shuriken, and I'm going to throw it at what's that? The soldier. Mm -hmm. And do a. Uh, and that's a, that's a mark of yours, right? If he attacks anybody? If he attacks you, the melee guy, yes, but not the ranged guy. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I'm now hidden, and I'm now going to roll and do a slight flourish. Thirteen plus nine plus two. Yes. To the soldier, right? Mm -hmm. To the soldier, yes. yes. Damage. Damage. Um, uh, one. Is that a one d six? Mm-hmm. One d six. A five. Plus a dexterity and charisma modifier. Oh, no, wrong one. Dexterity, charisma modifier, yes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen uh, damage. It's pretty obscured. Can't even see him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the archer sees all that happening and then this boosh of whatever contraption you do looks at it looks at his buddy. You see that? And uh, as that's uh, happening, uh, I'll use my free action to say, hey stone shitters, over here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys smell like elves. Oh! And he is going to continue his shooting. To, ooh, you're in the way of the rock. So... I have been this whole time. <laughs> have you? Yeah. Oh, well, yes. I can't see you. I you just I get keep up. missing over and over. Yeah, yeah. The All negative right. two never mattered, so. Um, because I keep on rolling one, so yeah. he's gonna attack you. Ooh, I rolled something good. Uh, is, it, is it on reflex? No, it's on armor class. Of course it's not. <laughs> uh, twenty-one. That that misses. Ooh. I have twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> well, this actually hits your armor. But doesn't penetrate, just falls to the ground. Ding. Makes a wonderful sound. Ding. Ding. Yes. Okay. What can I hit? Um, you're ten, I think, from everybody, because I think I'm eleven. But you can, if you want to double check. Still got your yeah. dazzling gleam. Just FYI. I have uh, essence prison left. 
Oh, what's Dazzling Gleam? Is that what I'm making that up? What's yes. Dazzling Gleam? I'm making it up. Yeah, you're, you're there are ten though. of you. Okay. Just FYI. So, um... Which one should I put? Are you going to move on? I'll give her a little bit of... She's going to be... Yeah, Gull's already thinking about You're picking right up his shurikens. <laughs> so he's been, um, he's hit. And Archer has not been touched yet. Archer, this guy's not been hit. So let's try a chaos bolt, which is range 10. And who are you going for? Um, the guy that's already been hit. Soldier. Soldier 2. Mm -hmm. Soldier 2. Sixteen. And that's even. So then I go for the archer gun. Mm -hmm. Seventeen. Got them both. 1d10 plus 10. To the soldier. Nine. You rolled a nine? Yep. Alright, 19 damage. He is mortally wounded. 1d6 plus 3 to, to the archer. Three. Soldier's looking pretty bad. Uh, if you want to move, you can. Lirindel. I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm returning to myself. And I'm coming right here. And I am going to use my Call of the Beast. Um. First one within ten squares, so I'm gonna I'm gonna direct it towards this guy. Mm -hmm. I'll do the archer first, and then I'll do the soldier. So archer first. Oh, it was eighteen, and then it flipped to two. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a miss. Did I say for a second? Yeah, we are. You're gonna go back. <laughs> now to the soldier. Uh, twelve. That's good. That's a hit. Right? Mm-hmm. So he gets um nine psychic damage. Uh, yeah, you gotta call uh call somebody to be the target. Hello? Um, <laughs> <laughs> to be the target? Yeah, call Yago. No one can see him. Does yeah, it go. need to be someone oh. you can see? I yeah. mean, I, why am I a, asking? Like it's, yeah. written, like, it's written there. <laughs> you can't see. Oh. I can't see. I can't even see him. Yago! <laughs> He's in yeah. the clue. That's easy. It's up to you! Travix. Wait. I'll move one, shoot. two, three, oh, four, It's my four, ally. Five. I just have an ally. Oh, oh it's not ally. enough, is it? It's, well, I thought it was... It's more, oh, huh? I thought it said ally. Uh... Uh, Nearest to it as a target. Rough. So I will run because I think he's in the wall here. I need to be one more what? up, I think. Nearest to it as a target. Pretty sure. And I will. Oh, uh, line of sight. My okay. mark would still be there. My mark would still be there. So I will minor action my divine strength. Super, super value one damage on an attack that's not going to hit. And I will use Enfeebling Strike on the soldier. Mm -hmm. So 8 plus 9 minus 5? Yeah, it's a big miss. Well, kind of what we figured. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That scale armor. Blink right off of it. The rock. Okay. Yeah, you got, you're at wills now. And they're only range five. You have to move up five squares. You might as well just go straight. 
Yeah. What encounters do you have left? The powers are gone. They're all gone? Yeah, he did both of them. Last few years done. Yeah, I don't really have, like, I have, like, just random wounds. Yeah. Like, you know the soldier is mortally wounded? <laughs> well, he's got, like, like something yeah, like, about the undead. Undead, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, Devar. And the other one's a saving throw. Channel Divinity. Oh, that's a good one, though. You're gonna kill the, you can kill the soldier, probably. With what? When the, you're at will. The one that gives me temporary hit points. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of these. I mean, it's, it is the right choice. It just happens to give me temporary hit points. <laughs> so I should... Which one is the one that does have temporary hit points? This one. Then do that one. Okay. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Nice. No. 2d6. Is that damage? No. Oh, no. wait. 1d6. 1d6. Oh, Plus 5. Yeah. 2. 7. 7. I don't want to kill a soldier. What is this? Do? Mm hmm. Does a song play when you go to sleep, Pete? Yes. The 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 light comes down and it like goes into it and it explodes and it goes all over traffic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I'm a ranged paladin now. I only use ranged attacks. I, I only throw my weapons. I don't go into melee anymore. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> Yago has his um, frost out, and everyone hears this crackling noise begin <laughs> from the cloud. <laughs> and the cloud starts shimmering, <laughs> and then they hear, <laughs> and and a bright light of shimmer comes out of the cloud. He starts stepping forward and steps out of the cloud, taking. Oh my God, Yago! Keep One, two, three <laughs> steps forward. Where did you come from? <laughs> it's like and he, he just and he out of slowly nothing. takes that sword and starts thrusting it forward with a sly flourish, and rolls a ten plus nine plus two. Yes. If you, if you didn't have that plus two, it a missed. Damage. 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 No, actually, it would hit him fine. I looked at the wrong guy. One plus, plus dexterity and charisma. Eight. Which attack is this? Sly flourish. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Round five. You're next to the archer. So he is. Oh. And that's also a combat advantage, but that would only, that wouldn't have made any difference. No. Yeah. So If you had combat advantage, you'd be rolling more dice. Oh, that's right. But don't you need to use a minor to, I don't know how your thing works, because you're not. Did you have combat advantage because you were in your thing? I don't no. think so. No. Um, well. I think you came out of it, so you wouldn't I, have had it. I if I had come out of it, well. Um, my, I have a minor thing, um, yeah. that gives me combat advantage. Oops, sorry. You're good, you're good. Go ahead. Do your thing. Um, car, boy, let me show. Where, where, I got it at a hand screen, so I can never play back, that would dark fire. You had just added it to my sheet. I don't know, it's cool, but one, it's, I think it's like a daily, or a minor, or uh, encounter, right? He just doesn't Adaptive flanker. Be, there you go. The adaptive yeah, you need flank. another... You need a, um... What? Well, I'm, I'm right next to him. So, I think it... Yes, yeah. so you would you, ha you have to call it. So yeah. you would have said minor action. Yeah. So go ahead, roll 2d8. So you used your minor action. I'll give you the 2d8 on. Four. And a six. Bloody. And now it's his turn. He's going to free action drop. 
his longbow, minor action, take out his longsword and attack Travix? Yes. Is you? It is you. Yep, that's you me. were there first. It was. And out of nowhere, Yago comes out. I know he kind of startles him a little bit as he was going to swing at you. And roll a 17. Neri. You still have Essence Prison. We're going to get hurt on this one. Mm. No. <laughs> okay, so... Let's do Essence Prison. You can probably already start looting stuff, you know? We're, we're, we're wrapping it up. That's an 18. Oof, that hurt. Okay, so that's 2d8. 2d8 plus 10. Five. Fifteen damage. Two. Seventeen damage, which obliterates him. Oh. Nice. And more blood. And what happens? Goes on. No. Nope. He explodes. Goes on Yago this time. Goes I, 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 I you squatted down. <laughs> he squatted, he not, he not and it went down. all okay. over you, Travix. I'm so Specifically sorry. Specifically in particular. <laughs> Well, the way the world figure, works. It all got directed. The it attack to you. The attack the anger the of the gods since you don't like them. Her <laughs> god in particular. Oh, wait, wait. It's a little piece of intestine. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> how am I supposed to loot his intestines now? Well, did you think about that? I don't know. Encounter over. There's probably jerky in there. <laughs> Where do you think oh, they make the jerky from? <laughs> Uh, ar archer jerky. Well, uh, what, what, what is it? Sheep stomach? Um, oh, uh, what's that called? Yargus, Sargus, something. No. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, I know it's not that, but. Um, haggis? Haggis. Is that what it is? Yes. I'm, I'm thinking haggis. of something yeah, else. Sheep intestines and. The it's stomach, a lot of is the sausage trails. 150 stomach. experience points. Oh, there's also tripe. That's what I'm thinking. Ripe. Oh boy. Although tripe is intestines that are cleaned out and then put in a soup usually. It's a fish though, is it? No, it's intestines. Oh, a yeah. fish intestine? No. Yeah, I was going to say, intestine. I thought, I thought yeah, tripe was the name of like a fish or like fish. Well, the Google says that they were right, but why? why mm. What is tripe? Did you put in tripe? I thought, it was I thought, I thought it was tripe had just something to do with fish. That's what I thought oh, okay. it was. What did, what did the lining say? of beef, hog, or sheep stomach. Okay, so oh, I was I was right, sheep stomach, but she said intestine, which is haggis. Ah, uh, there you go. The entrails, bowels, intestines, or guts, hence the belly. So it could be both. Wait. Right. Five so, minute break for you guys. So make sure we don't uh, I missed it. What's our, it, what's our experience at? 150. Isn't there a fish that's So we're at. 39.05? 39? Ooh, where'd you get that from? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. What, what level are we now? Four? We level uh, up right we now? We should be at 2,000. <laughs> yeah. we're, I think we're at 29. <laughs> we should be How at 2,900 right now. I, I have you at 20. Well, we had 2,750. So. We're, we're, we're without the experience? Yeah, I, I, I have 2,755. I had 2,750 as well. 55? Alright. I'll I keep have, you at 2,500. I have 2,595. Her? Your last, four. Yeah, your last four. one. I had 2,750. How many people had that number? Yeah, I, I, I had 2,755. Would you have? 2,755. Wow, are we all so off? You're supposed to be at 2,850, technically. So Before just, this I, encounter? Yeah. It right, could be because so I messed say, up so numbers we'll a lot. So we'll say 3,000, then. 3,000. There you go. 3,000? Well, yeah, you, you just, just added 150. 150. No, you're supposed to be right now, after this, 2,850. Huh? I think oh, you, I had 2750. I did. I had I, I think I messed up twice with your numbers right. in the past. So, so 2900. And right. then I took some monsters away from some, and I think I didn't. We're supposed to have 2850 at the end of this. Yeah, like right now, as we stand, 2850 at the end of this uh, encounter. Uh, That's okay. where you're supposed to be. Okay. So, so we got 100. <laughs> oh. You all gonna end up in the same place at the time you're supposed to anyway. Don't worry. Um. <laughs> What do you guys want to do? Uh, 28. <laughs> like what Neri said. What did you say again? 3,900? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that would be number four. <laughs> I'm sure there's like a book around here somewhere of valuable knowledge. <laughs> I learned a lot today. I don't know. 
Um, you like jerky. 2850, right? 20 20 uh, anything you guys want to do before you leave this room? Uh, if you have to heal yourself, heal yourself. Yeah, I'll do that. I guess I have enough surgeries. Um, it's fine. So many. I know Yago wants to run to those beds. <sighs> Yago, you got those beds? This place looks really... Um, yeah, I'm going to go to the I know he wants to go there. So you, you picked up your shurikens? Yes. Well, why? Is that where your shurikens were? At the beds? Well... I had to come back this way and, um... Oh, okay. Uh, give me a perception check. This is an actual roll. By him or by me? Uh, or by well, anybody? he went by the beds. This is for him. A 15. Ooh, Plus? I'm taking another picture. Oh, perception. All right. Uh, Hidden nice. under the beds, you find three untapped casks of beer. There we go. Beer. I found the beer. <laughs> All right, from the hobgoblins themselves. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, uh, six long swords. Mm -hmm. uh, a long bow with twenty arrows. Five light shields, two heavy shields, two flails, one quarter staff, twenty gold pieces. And 34 silver pieces. What's that? 30, 34, 30, so 34 silver pieces. Uh, can I check the room I'm in for mm -hmm. I hidden passages or secret compartments or something? Yeah. 15 plus 15 plus 15. two. Nothing. Room is clean. Playing cards on the table. Nothing else really there of value. Okay. Did we finish checking all the barrels? Yeah, when I gave you the description, it was everything that would have been there. Okay, I'm going to go back into the other room and that table. I just wanted to flip it over. <laughs> Somebody has anger issues. <laughs> How much? Uh, how much of this cheese? There wasn't and, enough gold. Oh my how much cheese and jerky mm. can we take? Whatever you could fit. Give, give me a number. <laughs> <laughs> so I can write it down. Uh, I don't know, like half a pound of the cheese jerky. There's water. There's some grain. Salted fish. It was like dry fish. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how much of all of that can we take? Uh, what do you have to put them in? I mean, what do you... Food is going to be a little different than like holding around weapons and stuff. Do you have actual containers to put these things in? If you did find three things of beer. You can Maybe empty we the need beer. to go back to town. <laughs> Wait, didn't we have a pouch? We have a goblin pouch. We have a little <coughs> pouch, that's true, yeah. So maybe we can just fit jerky and dried fish in there. Hmm. And assuming that's at the highest, the higher value than grain, the cheese will go bad. Keep it away from the, um, the poison. We can each take a piece of cheese and eat it on our way well, as we want. Well, I think the way it works is... Like, when you put your hand into the bag, you think about what you're trying to take out and... It's like you no, find it immediately, down? but you can't see inside the bag. So Pass it's like, these around. Um, so as far as keeping it separate, I think it's always it's separate. Not a I think it's always separate. Um, but don't quote me on that. Is this you? In other words, not to worry. Not to worry. So we have the goblin pouch. I don't know the dimensions of that. Uh, well, the thing about the fact that it does go around a goblin, which is like smaller than the rock's character, so it's a 
maybe it's like this big. So we're probably talking maybe, <clears throat> if you were to take one item, it'll be a half a pound at the very most. All right, so I'm gonna write half pound jerky inside goblin pouch. Uh, what time is it? We started at 10.45. I'll give you noon time. We started inside this room, or we started the, the today's session? Of today's session. Oh, what time then, 10.40? 10.45 a.m. Uh, what the five minutes? Say it's 11. That's after interrogating and looting and yeah. walking around and everything? What yeah. Okay. 11. We work fast. 11, 11 a.m. The battle itself it wasn't was like... Much here. It was like 18 seconds. 20 seconds. Alright. So this room is completely cleared out. You have a couple options. Uh... Well, we, we have literally a couple options, right? We, we go just across the hall, or we mm -hmm. go back down and then to the... The I, long hallway that think, goes into darkness. Yeah, I think we just do this, the one across the yeah, hall, right? Yeah, let's check out the yeah. other door. This is where you're told that his personal boss is. All right, then we'll just leave it right there. Yeah. Okay. Good night, you two.